Well, welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot at startup funding and investing. With the growing number of startups seeking funding, it's easy to increase your corporate VC fund to capture more deals. Fund sizes in many corporate VCs increase almost every year. For many startups, too much funding can bring unexpected problems. It's best to start small and grow the fund organically. The corporate VC also needs to build out the program to provide the strategic and forecast results. Many startups that pursue corporate VC need substantial support. Most corporate VC funds are started when their strategic initiatives came up short. The corporate VCs must consider the needs of the fund as well as the needs of the startup. Start with a small investment up front and then start looking for a connection with the corporate group with meaningful interactions. Too much funding will create the impression that the funding was the end game when collaboration should be the outcome. Measure each step that leads to a productive collaboration. The startup should feel like a successful part of the company and not a hired contractor. In the end, you must find a good fit and build a strong collaboration process. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start up something today. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.